What's brewing? I'm Jonathan, and today we're going to be making the mysterious artifact. If you have no idea what I'm talking about in Baldur's Gate 3, there is this thing here, and everybody wants it. Like, everyone wants it. So much so that now I want my own mysterious artifact. So to do that, I need to figure out how to get the game file myself, make it 3D printable, print it out, paint it up, and then we'll have our own mysterious artifact. And a small portion of this video is sponsored by PCB Way. Now I have an idea on how to get a game file, but we have to get a little bit sneaky for this. So to grab almost any game file, you need this thing called Ninja Ripper that lets you take 3D screenshots and then go into that screenshot and you can grab everything out that you don't want, then grab the file that you actually do want from it and do anything you want from it. Actually, no. It's their intellectual property, it's for educational purposes only, so please keep that in mind. But now we have the file. Let's go make the mysterious artifact. I have a lot more details about the entire process over at Keep Making. And here we have it, it's now printed and ready to go. Well, pretty much. Things are not fitting in quite as I would like, and that's because I didn't add any tolerance to it. But I also knew that I was gonna have to just sand off these edges a little bit to get things to fit in well. But all the bits that need to look good, look good. I'm gonna give this just a little bit of a sand on the front face here, because there's a little bit of stepping because I didn't feel like going that high resolution. But from there, once this is sanded, I'm gonna give it a prime coat and then we can see exactly how we're going to paint this. So after an uncomfortable amount of sanding and a little bit of priming, everything is looking ready to go. I've left it overnight so it's fully cured and I've also done some test pieces here. The first test was not exactly successful. I peeled off the top coat while I was trying to fill in and clean stuff off so that didn't work out great. The next test here, well, a little bit too shiny for me considering the reference image that I'm wanting to go with. So I wanted to darken things up. So then I got this result here, which I'm quite happy with. I think I might darken it just a touch more and then hit all the top spots with a little bit of dry brushing. And on top of that, this is like a seven step process. So members, I've created a video just to show you how exactly I do this. And it takes 25 minutes per tile. I have 20 tiles. So that's at least about eight hours of painting ahead of me. And I still have no idea how I'm going to do this. I've got a couple of sort of inklings of how I'm going to go forward with this, but I think we should just get on with it.
And here we are three days later, it's finally painted and I'm happy with how it's looking. It took so much longer than I expected, but now I cannot wait to put this all in one piece and have it held in my hand like the almighty artifact that it is. But just quickly help me pay those bills with a quick little message from this video sponsor. PCB Way is turning your ideas into reality with their comprehensive and affordable maker services, offering everything from PCBs, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and a huge variety of 3D printing techniques. Go see how PCB Way can elevate your next maker project by clicking the link down in the description. And a big thank you to you and PCB Way for making this video possible. And here it finally is, and it's looking awesome. And I can't wait to see how this is gonna look like in the final reveal. And wow, it took so much longer than I expected to get this made, but the end results just speak for itself. Thank you to my patrons for supporting me to let me do these crazy projects. And they're just gonna get so much bigger from here on out. So if you're wanting to get this file yourself, it's linked down in the description. I have a couple of other videos over on Keep Making. Now let's go and check out that final reveal. Thanks for watching, keep making, and let the quest continue.